Andrew Singer with Old Men Stories Opry, and I've been enjoying having conversations here today with John Miller, my old buddy John Miller. Thank Thanks you, Andrew. for being here and, and for inviting us into your house today. And yeah. I say my old buddy John Miller because I've known you for a long time. Long time. Long probably time. Go back over twenty years. I'm oh guessing. yeah. Yeah. From yeah. church, and now yeah. that I'm not in the choir anymore at church because we spent six months in Arizona during the choir time. Now no. you join. Now I join. But I'm trying not to take it personal. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I just now you a, finally join the choir. I had a friend give me some encouragement to join it. And it's a little different singing than what I'm used to, but, uh, but I enjoy Exercise it. Exercise in yeah. those muscles. Right, you know, exactly. exactly. In a different way. Yeah. And it makes you it makes you stay in, in pitch with everybody. I mean, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Being in a choir is good for lots of things, lots of discipline. But you're doing music not only there, but you're doing music out places now that you didn't used to do. Right. What made you start doing that again? Um, I think it's, well, I had never really did that much playing out in public over the years. I played for friends and different things, but uh, it's something that I always kind of had on my list of something I really wanted to do and which I would have started when I was younger because I've always enjoyed playing for people. And so now, with a little more free time on my hands, now I'm getting the Because you're retired the now. Yes. Yeah. Are you loving being retired? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, I, I like it so a lot. So what uh, what's your big retirement project? Everybody has one when they first retire. Well, I always I, wanted to get this done. Yeah, mine is, well, I'm actually uh, finishing off the inside of my garage, believe it or not, and hanging a heater so I can, turning it into more of a shop so I can do winter projects out there and different things. And so that's the, one of the biggest things I'm doing right now. Um, other than that, I just really wanted to find more time to play guitar and, and do some more singing. Too. Oh, yeah. So. And you're finding enough places to, to play? Um, I'm in the process. And so. it's amazing when they invite you back? Yes. That, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. That's always nice. Yeah. Good for the ego. Oh, okay. Yeah. My songs are okay. Especially in your case, because you're doing the majority of the songs are... Your very original. own song. Yeah. Well, what you find is a lot of these smaller places, like if you're playing at coffee shops, they're real reluctant to have you play somebody else's music because now they're all worried about being sued, which is kind of silly. But uh, so they shy away from cover songs and are wishing you play more original music. So, which you have. Which I have. And then that makes you write some more. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. And you're getting them recorded? Uh, yeah. Yep, I've got enough that we're all have one CD and probably the second one coming out shortly after that as well. So, I, so you're working on it. Yeah, I had done a practice CD years ago. With some of these songs you'll hear, uh, and it's uh, still uh, a work in process. So there's probably over 22 or 23 songs that are original that I want to put on an actual CD. Now, when you go into the studio. What process do you do? You know, going in, what you want the output to be, or do you work on that as you go? Um, I kind of know what it is, uh, what I want it to be. I know a lot of people will, you know, play the guitar first, and then they'll do a second track and sing over it. I go in and I play and I sing right out from from the get go, and that's how I'm most comfortable. It doesn't give the person who's doing the recording as much versatility and adjusting different things, but uh, so far it's been working for me, so I'm sticking with it for now. Well, so, good. Yeah. yeah, you do what you're comfortable. Now, this next song we're going to listen to is a love song from, from you. Right, Come well, Woman. Woman, and uh, it's actually, it's you could call it a love song. It's, it's, more, it's more of a song about relationships that have come and gone, and looking back, sometimes you wish you could get that relationship back. But sometimes it's just a little too late. And it's called Woman. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, what made you write this? Um, Were they coming and going? Did you have a, like a revolving door? No, there was, there was a relationship uh, <laughs> many, many years ago that I was involved in. And, and, and that's kind of what prompted the lyrics to come out. And uh, that's how it happened. It is. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's been uh, another good song that I've enjoyed playing and uh, kind of peppy. And, yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. People will love it. Anything from John Miller. So let's let's listen to this great song. Maybe a love song, maybe not. Maybe you not. Decide. <laughs> it's called Woman by John Miller. <laughs> 